G'day guys, so today Shorty and I are doing our tips for round 16. I'm not too far away from the end of the season, mate. It's getting close. It is getting close, mate. How'd you go last week? <laughs> I went alright, mate. I got, s- I got 7 down to 9, which is okay. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with it. And how did you go? Oh, yeah, I got 9, that's right. Oh, I already knew that, didn't want to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Happy with it? Very. Well, I guess you couldn't be unhappy with it, so. No, you yeah. can't do much better than that, but no, a couple of lucky tips in there. If you check them back on last week's video, I actually changed my tip to Essendon. I don't know if you put it in the comments or not. I actually didn't, but... Um, yeah, I actually, I genuinely did, but... He did, so, yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. take that. We'll take his word for it. Yeah, it was pure luck, but... Which sometimes tipping is. It really is, and we're getting into the, some more luck. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got North Melbourne and Essendon on the Friday night at Eagad Stadium. How do we see this one? Yeah, North Melbourne by 29 points, mate. Well, I thought you were going to say 20. No, 29. But, 29, uh, all right. Yeah, I don't know. I think uh, they're dominating the ruck, Goldstein, once again. But, uh, yeah, I think North Melbourne are getting back to some better form, but who knows what they're going to dish up, really. They're one of those sides that they're pretty hot and cold. But they certainly are. I think the Bombers, they responded, but, yeah, in reality... It's the Dons, uh, the uh, Ds. <laughs> yeah, I think that could be one of the ones where you, you get up for that match against, you know, all odds and stuff. But when you look at their list, it's just, yeah, it's depleted, Awful. really. Yeah, so... North Melbourne for me. Cool, I've gone with North Melbourne by 20 points. Could be a, a thrashing, but I don't think it will be because they can be hot and cold, like you said. I think they've got uh, most areas covered, and they got the Bombers last time nicely. It was a close game, that one, but uh, North will be too strong for mine. Nice. Geelong in the Western Bulldogs, mate. It's Simmons <sighs> Stadium. Check out the review for their thoughts at the end on this one, but uh, very tough one. Yeah, it was. I thought for quite some time about it. About four I reckon I know who he's going to pick. Yeah, I'll pick the dogs, mate. Oh, he's called the dogs? I thought yeah. you were going to go the cats. Did ya? No, I've tipped the dogs by two points. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That could change by the end of the week. I don't know. Just... Menzel's making a huge comeback. <laughs> <laughs> As I said in the review, I think there's a couple of factors that you know could weigh back in our favour. Dogs' potential inconsistency. But yeah, I just can't tip us on the fact that I am not sure what we're going to dish up. And the dogs... They haven't given us much. Yeah, the dogs are in some good form, so... Yeah, simple. Close one, though. <laughs> it certainly will be. I'm going on the Western Bulldogs as well by 11 points. I don't know how many times I've the Cats this year. Maybe two or three times. But yeah, you always tip the Cats. Oh, I'm just spaced off reality, <laughs> yeah, mate. Yeah, I know, I know. Gee whiz. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the dogs... Footy's been fantastic, and as I've said in the review, um, the, I think the dogs' assets uh, can show up our greatest liabilities. In terms of their run spread, and you know they've got so much excitement, very quick side, and we're not. That, and mate, we've last night. This is not the review, but how slow were we last night? We were very slow, mate. Very slow. Made to look slow as well. Exactly. So, and the fact we haven't given them much lately, you know, there's no reason to tip us, and I think there's every reason to tip the dogs, and we've been terrible at Simmons. So there you go. That's the tip. There you go. Straight up. That's it. <laughs> Gold Coast and GWS at Metricon Stadium. Oh. Huge clash between the expansion clubs. Tough to split them. Very tough. I've tipped the Giants by 10 points, but again, I my initial thought was Gold Coast. But gut feeling? Yeah. So again, Go with the gut. This one could change. Oh, Who it's, knows? It's so tough. It's like he wants gonna, to tip Gold Coast. Are we going to get the last quarter of last week or, we, or the first three? I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Very yeah. unknown. I'll wait for the teams on this one, but I think the Giants, while they're a bit depleted with the... Defence and, and, of course, Mumford. Their midfield's still pretty mint, so... It's a way. Um, Cameron and McCarthy, but, yeah, Giants just... Cameron McCarthy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How about that? Yeah, that was random. <laughs> there you yeah, go. Didn't even notice. That's all right. I, I did. So, <laughs> Gold Coast by four points to mine. Yeah, I've got no idea what will come up. Well, they were very yeah. impressive for three quarters against the Western Bulldogs, but maybe that shows how good the Bulldogs are. But I'm pu- tipping this purely just because it's a metric on... Yeah. They did very well against the Roos um, the other week, and that was probably one of North Melbourne's cold weeks, and they do play extra better. A bit like the Brisbane Lions of the Gabba, they play much better there, so I think the Gold Coast just. Thank God. Collingwood and West Coast at Etihad Stadium. Another big game for Collingwood, they lost three in a row. Three in a row. I know. And they need to get a big scalp if they're any type of chance to challenge in the finals. That's right, they can't keep just losing to these good sides and showing good signs, but then losing. That's right. But I think they're going to. So I'll keep the Eagles. Can't blame you. They've got to be with Hawthorne, the form side of the competition, don't they? They're yeah, in fantastic certainly. form. I've tipped them by seven points. I think it'll be close, mind you. 
Yeah, they usually are these these games. Yeah, but no, they're they're flying. The Eagles they're going great, and uh, the Pies while they're going nicely, I just don't think when it really comes down to it that I think the Eagles will be too strong. Mentally weak. <laughs> <laughs> no, just not quite good enough. <laughs> the others is mentally stronger. Yeah, that's right. No, we've gone West Coast by three goals, 18 points. So I think, as you said, they're flying high, just like their song. And they've been in fantastic form. The, the transition from defence to forward, the way they uh, attack through the middle, their ruck and midfield setup's fantastic and dominant forward lines has been for years. I think they'll just be too strong. They've been in some fantastic form. That's right, yeah. Oh, thanks, pal. I did my best on that one. <laughs> Sydney and Hawthorne at Ains at Stadium, mm. 2012 and 14 Grand Final rematch. Yes, the Hawks are big one. Just they're killing sides at the moment. <laughs> it's it's starting to make me pretty sad, really. Because you just know this form's just going to lead. In, it's yeah. the perfect time to hit yeah. good form. They're just peaking nicely, which just they'd before love to finals. Do. Yeah, I think they'll get the job done against the Swans by 16 points. I don't think it'll be a blowout like it against the Dockers. No. Um, it's tough to get a read on the Swans as well, where they're we at. Just bet Brisbane by yeah. 21 and Brisbane up for a bit. Yeah, exactly right. So it's tough to get a read, but yeah, you, you can't tip against the Hawks, can you? No, and I have not. I've yeah. gone with the Hawks by 13 points. I think, yeah, what can I say? They're just a better team. I don't think Sydney are going along that well, and I think we both agree on that, that there's really been no time or no point this year where the Swans have been that good. So uh, on that basis, just because it's at ANZ doesn't mean they lose. But when Sydney has beaten the Hawks, it's been at ANZ and the Hawks have had a few key outs. But full list for the Hawks helps them. Well, basically next to full list, so they yeah. should win. Yeah, no worries. And the next game, Fremantle and Carlton at Domain Stadium. There's been a couple of close ones between these two sides as of late, especially at Domain. Yeah, I, I don't see it being close this time around. I think the Dockers by 33 points. I know they are not in great form, really, but... I don't really have a reason why they're going to play well, but I think Carlton, <laughs> they're just going nicely, but in comparison to what they were early in the year, I suppose. But uh, the Dockers over there should be too strong. It'll be interesting if Fife's playing or not. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, another, another video for that one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But no, nah, Dockers should get the job done pretty comfortably, I would have thought. Fair enough, mate. I've gone with the Dockers by 25 points. I think last year, and uh, watched this with Laurie, actually. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. Uh, five points in it. So, uh, right. and it was, yeah, it was Fife winning the match for them, so, well, Cameron Wood losing in the match, maybe, so, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, they have had some close ones lately, and I wouldn't be surprised if it was closer, because uh, Freeman have been in almost terrible form lately, it has to be said, yeah, they, but they'll be, they'll, they'll be asking for a big response, though, and that, they're a side that can give a big response the week after poor performance, so the Dockers should win. Yeah. The next game is Melbourne and Brisbane at the MCG, this is probably one of the hardest ones for you, mate, as you said before. Yeah, I've got no idea, mate. And he no still, idea. I still has no idea. I've got no idea. I'm, I'll probably something says Brisbane actually. Um, At the G. Yeah, something says Brisbane. I'm not sure. I'm not. I really don't have a clue. This will be one where I just look at the teams and probably look at the percentage of what other people have tipped and try and make up yeah. a random tip like I did with Essendon and Melbourne, try and go against the flow because I've got <laughs> no real confidence in either of them. But exactly. Um, the Brisbane Lions have been good in the last few weeks against good opposition. Melbourne have been all of a sudden poor in games they should be winning. Exactly. So it's really tough to get a read on both these teams. So I don't have a tip for you, to be honest, mate. You can pick one, and you can ch- I'll chuck it in the comments to change it. I'll go with Brisbane. You said Brisbane, so... Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah, I'm not right. really. No, no, I'm not happy with one either. I've gone with the Demons by 15 points. Um, they seem to beat teams they're not supposed to and lose to teams they shouldn't. So it's crazy, but I think it's just one they have to win. And I've got no real confidence in either team, so Melbourne just. Yeah, fair enough. Speaking of not having trust, uh, Port Adelaide and Adelaide and Adelaide Oval. Mm. Gosh, the showdowns are always tough. And with the circumstances eventuating, even tougher. That's right, it's, yeah, it's exactly what I was going to say. I mean, they're normally tough, but, oh, yeah, you had to feel for the Adelaide players. Have you seen the footage? I saw a bit of it, yeah. yeah it's I wasn't tough. But... I wasn't crying, but I wasn't far off. Yeah, it was, give you that. it was pretty sad stuff, but I've tipped Adelaide by three points. I mean, you try and just tip it on a, a football thing, but you know that's not really correct because they've got so much else going on. You're really not yep. sure who's going to play. I mean, some guys might be emotionally wrecked. I'm not sure when the funeral is and things like that. I think but, it's during the week or something so like that. So there could yeah. be some guys who don't even play, so then you might swing to Port Adelaide. But the 
the power were better against Port, uh, sorry Collingwood, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah they were better Good there. Win. So um, I'm tipping Adelaide on a football basis, but there's so much else that could come into it later in the week. And I feel like change. I just keep looking at the teams at the end of the week and making a decision. But it is a tough round, as you said prior. Certainly, mate. I've gone with Port Adelaide by two points. And again, there's nothing in these teams. And uh, I don't really know. I don't have a great tip. I'm just going to say, because Adelaide might still be emotionally you know, hurting from the whole incident, um, yeah. it's, it's very tough to say, oh, just because Adelaide are feeling you know, down in the dumps doesn't mean they don't come out to play. And the showdown could spark great emotions and sometimes these games just go either way so yeah you can just sort of it's all about picking the right ones almost but yeah very tough and just on the emotion side of things i mean it can sometimes you can be too emotional and you you can't sort of stick to what you need to do or sometimes it can be the perfect release for the emotion you've had during the week it's really mm, yeah. that's an individual thing so impossible to tell can't quantify it that's mm. it last game of the round is st kilda and richmond at Etihad stadium tigers need to win it to be in yeah. contention. Yeah, look, I think they will. I've tipped them by about a five-goal mark. I think 29 points, I think I wrote down. But, uh, yeah, they, they will get the job done here, I reckon. They are, Sweet. They're starting to win these games that they must win. So and, it's good. And they have lost in the past. Yeah, exactly. So I think St Kilda, while they're going all right, um, probably don't have the weapons to beat a Richmond. The Tigers are travelling very nicely and... And really just staying to deliver consistent performances at, at the level that we know they can actually yeah, deliver. certainly. So I think maybe at certain quarters or for a half, the Saints will definitely push them, but I see the Tigers getting the job done. Beautiful. I've gone with Richmond by 30 points. It's, it's actually the exact same margin they won by against the Blues in an underwhelming <laughs> performance. Shocking game. Uh, it wasn't a good one. Um, seems to be a common theme with that one as well. But, uh, yeah, the Tigers are a better team on this occasion, I think. Uh, Saints, I reckon, will certainly challenge them. And uh, they certainly have in the past. I think they won a, a heap of games over them uh, over a period of, like, a fair few amount of years. I think they won just a lot of games. <laughs> That's all Where are your stats at, mate? I thought That's you had the stat. Nah. <laughs> it's all right, mate. I'll take your word for it. I'll take your word. Yeah, the G-Train turned turn him up one day. <laughs> he 10? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Kick 10. They went by 103 in 2006. I remember oh, that yeah. game. So nice, nice. Come up for the Tigers in the memory <laughs> bank. But, um, yeah, that's all passing. <laughs> so it doesn't even matter on today's result. But, uh, Thanks, Ross. <laughs> yeah. So, Tigers should be too good, I think. They've got um, so many quality players out there for them. So. Can't argue with that, mate. And they generally do well. So. Yeah. Those are our tips for round 16, not 15, not 18, not 17, 16. Yeah, you had to double check it, didn't you, mate? I did. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did. Sometimes I just forget. <laughs> but, right. uh, yeah, all right. Yeah, cool. All right. Beautiful. We'll, we'll take a deep breath and move on from that. We'll wrap it up. Sweet, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Uh, share around to your mates so they can do their tips as well and comment your tips as well. Not in the description because that's what I do. So that's, <laughs> that's not what you guys do. Uh, thanks for sticking around, guys, and we'll see you all next time.